all right uh, welcome to this live session it is the last uh, trading day in this uh, month and we are seeing uh, lots of uh, market volatility as the monthly candle is uh, gradually coming to an end um well let me not uh, waste your time in this uh, live session so i will just go straight uh, to the point uh, showing you those things of interest uh, to us now looking into the forex factory economical calendar for uh, tomorrow we have uh these are many high impact news events that we are expecting. Uh, tomorrow is not NFP. It has been shifted to uh, next week Friday. Um, so tomorrow we have just a normal high impact news event for the sterling pounds, uh, Canadian dollar crosses and the American dollar. We are keep this on your notepad and make sure you are not trapped, especially on intraday trades uh, within the news release hours. All right, let's uh, go into the chat. I'm going to be showing you a few pairs that we are paying attention to, that we are following. Uh, the first one here is the Australian dollar against the uh, Japanese yen, the one hour time frame. Uh, let's see what's been going on here. Uh, in the one hour time frame, it's been a huge mess with price here. Price has been sideways. Uh, you cannot trade anything profitably within this type of market. You are obviously cannot trade here. Let's see the um, the daily time frame. In the daily time frame, this is what we are following. We are waiting for price to make that pullback to this key area. This area that has been holding price as support. We want price to uh, come back to that very zone where it might be finding resistance to bounce back down. The Australian dollar against the Japanese yen is still bearish, even though we are seeing price uh, making that pullback. Uh, to the upside it is still bearish uh, price is likely to find resistance around that soon all right so in the four hours time frame um remember we're following this uh, looking to trade the 3sm strategy but it didn't work out you can see that the price went uh, sideways uh for almost the entire in fact for the entire week price went uh, sideways so uh there wasn't much to uh, or nothing to trade here for the entire week in the one hour time frame is quite a mixed price action here uh, we cannot even draw our levels of support and resistance more uh, accurately because of the uh, poor structural levels of support and resistance so let's keep that one there we can also uh, keep this one or even keep a trend line just keep a rising trend line this level here actually uh, let's see we can uh, keep a channel let's keep that channel okay uh, that is it nothing more here so uh, where am I expecting price to uh, bounce in this pair okay we've talked about that already uh, somewhere around in here in the daily time frame price should uh, move up to that area from there on it should be finding resistance to uh, come back down in the Australian dollar against the Japanese yen. For now, uh, you cannot trade anything here. Just avoid uh, trading in this junction of uh, the charts. Okay, so if uh, price makes that pullback uh, in the daily time frame, our, our uh, time frame of reference is in the daily time frame. So we are completely following this pair in the daily time frame. We want to see price pull back to that area. That is where we want to see a bounce price to come back down so uh, effectively we'll be looking for reversal formations around this area of the chart to go short again in the uh, Australian dollar against the Japanese yen all right the next pair is the American dollar against the uh, Japanese yen this is the one hour time frame where uh, you can see where I have kept this uh, level that's a level a hidden level that has been acting as a support sort of resistance here support here and support here again you can see how price bounced off that uh, level swiftly uh, to the upside um where well, the overall direction for the american dollar against the japanese yen is still to the downside uh you have to look into the bigger picture i am sure we have uh, over analyzed this pair already um in the daily time frame uh, price is making uh, to me i see this as a pullback see that as a pullback even though we are bouncing off that uh, area uh, somewhere around in here is where i expect price to come back down uh, actually it is clearer 
in the uh, four hour time frame. We are already placed an arrow. Delete this trend line from here. I already placed an arrow around that area. And that area has been holding price as resistance. So any push to that point could bring price back down. Okay. But their entry has to be aggressive. There is no valid setup here for the American dollar against the uh, Japanese yen. The entry is only for aggressive trader. Aggressive traders, uh, we don't have any valid setup here. I just uh, want to show you so you don't click on your buy button against that particular area of resistance. All right. That's what uh, I wanted to show you. All right, so in the uh, one hour time frame, let's just uh, keep this level. Uh, you can also see if you connect this uh, high to this one here, you will have a counter trend line. You will have that counter trend line and that is the level of resistance we are talking about. Uh, that's a point of confluence that could bounce price back down in the American dollar against the Japanese yen. So please, uh, don't click on your buy button against that particular level. All right, uh, let's keep that counter trend line. We can also keep uh, this low. Let's keep to this low. Uh, that is it. Let's look into the next pair. The American dollar against the uh, Swiss franc. Uh, actually, we are we placed an order in this one already. We are looking to go short. Uh, with the American dollar against the Swiss franc as this rising trend line in the one hour time frame uh, gave way. All right. Uh, remember, I said I was not going to uh, trade, um, take trades, not based on uh, on system rules anymore. Okay. It is only when I see that all the boxes as per the system rules have been ticked or have been checked that I am going to place a trade. Okay. And uh, for the American dollar against the Swiss franc, all boxes have been checked. All boxes as per the system rules have now been checked. So uh, the order has been placed. This is the uh, sell stop order. Just a few pips below the breakout trust. Uh, sell stop order right here. The stop loss just a few pips above the pullback. Okay, that's the uh, stop loss. So um, effectively you can see that retracement trend line here this is the breakout this is the pullback and we are now looking for the continuation move to the downside and this is our first profit target right here the uh, 0 0.97724 level uh, somewhere in there is our first profit target so we are going to keep this order if price meanders around here and begin to push to the upside again we will simply delete this order okay but if price keeps pushing to the downside and triggers our entry we will keep that trade uh, another way of entering this trade aggressively uh, aggressively is to wait for this current candle to close let me zoom in this chart is to wait for this current candle to close uh, if it close in red all right in red the way it is let's assume a price close just the way it is you want to take your sell entry straight on right there your stop loss should go you should keep it just where we have ours okay right here that should be your stop loss that's an aggressive entry but the more conservative entry is what we have in here this is our entry sell stop entry and this is our stop loss okay this is our first profit target that is it this is a standard setup so we are not going to be uh, moving our stop loss anyway to our somewhere in the air no we won't do that if price is going to our hit the stop loss well the best we can do is to close our eyes and let it hit uh, after all we are going to lose just two percent of our account and we can make it back in other trades so um that is the trade plan here what strategy are we trading you always want to trade a strategy uh, if it is not based on an, on an aggressive entry so what strategy are we look are we trading here all together aside from the uh, uh, price uh, behavior the price action of a breakout uh, pullback a continuation pattern 
what strategy are we trading the breakout pullback continuation pattern is only uh, an aspect of this strategy okay so let's look into the four hours time frame in the four hours time frame remember we have we analyzed this before um if you are firing the uh, 3sm indicator we talked about um price are uh, giving us some harmonic swings around the uh, dynamic area of uh, resistance even though we are seeing that there uh, are many candles right there but uh, at least we are seeing price begin to bounce to the downside uh, this is the previous swing low right here coming around that area we have talked about that yesterday uh, if you take your fibonacci retracement tool from the high to the low everything coming together around that junction of the chart so that makes it a valid uh, setup for us to look for uh, bounces for a whole new swing uh, within this trend to the downside so we have set our sell stop order right here stop loss somewhere in the air we are hopefully shooting uh, hoping that price will push to the downside in heavy momentum in the american dollar against the swiss franc all right this is a uh, highly correlated to the euro against the american dollar we were supposed to uh, also trade the uh, euro against the american dollar but for some reason the euro against the american dollar was extremely bullish uh, very bullish uh, didn't quite give us those necessary price pattern in order to go long uh, with this uh, pair actually i went long but um as soon as i noticed that um i was quite aggressive with that i just uh, closed the order even for a minus two people uh, two pips are lost uh but i don't care uh, i don't want to breach the system rules um i want to trade in line with this system uh rules okay uh similarly in the euro against the american dollar in the four hours time frame uh it is the three sm strategy that is playing out right now okay uh see how price came uh gave us that pullback into the dynamic area of support and from there on we are seeing an effective bounce to the upside this pair uh in my view remains absolutely bullish okay remains bullish uh very bullish you should not be looking for short entries here uh you can see how price has been giving that nicer swing very nice a swing back into the dynamic area of support from there on it should take off again uh, to the upside remain absolutely bullish with the euro against the american dollar let's see the one hour time frame in the one hour time frame we had a price gave us um that retracement trend line that became difficult for us to trade this one gave us a fake breakout here we readjusted we also found another fake breakout around this area you can see how price went for uh, those of you who took the trade without considering the breakout candles remember yesterday we talked about momentum breakout candle right in the one hour time frame which is the uh, trigger chart you want to see momentum breakout candle then uh, the pullback before the push to the upside but looking at these candles right here there was no momentum at all uh, it was a trick by price it gave that uh, little trust to the upside sideways price bias so many persons would have clicked on their buy button there uh, because they don't really understand or take the instruction of seeing a momentum uh, uh, breakout candle so they clicked on their buy entry there the uh, market movers successfully came back down to trigger all of their stop losses before bouncing price to the upside well that happens uh, the directional bias has not uh, changed uh, if you look at this because the uh, retracement trend line kept breaking over and over except for this one right now the uh, pattern itself here changed the pattern the overall pattern changed what we now had was this i was actually looking looking at this pair throughout the day <coughs> this was what uh, we now had let me be more specific with that line okay that was what we now uh, had let me zoom in the chat just to show you very clearly take out this one now see how price bounced off that level of support went back up found resistance right there came back to confirm that level of support okay from there on meanders around 
confirm that level of uh, resistance right there then this little fake breakout that little fake breakout was what drove price to trigger all of those stop losses and bouncing off this level of support to break through that uh, little channel all right and now it has been broken i am sure price is uh, going to push to the upside further uh, the euro against the american dollar is uh, absolutely bullish uh, you should not <coughs> be looking for short opportunities now ask yourself what is actually bouncing price here what why what did price uh, see to have bounced off this level well is it this high did it really retest that high let's see that um, in today's market it is difficult because you have to look at those little details did it retest that previous swing high absolutely no it did not even though the market is not perfect but it did not retest that high something must bounce price towards any direction let me bring back my four hours line all right so this is what is bouncing price right now as hidden as it is right there that is what is bouncing price right now harmonic bounces of that area that is it uh, price came all the way just to bounce off that point and i am sure uh, it is very likely to keep pushing to the upside so uh, the euro against the american dollar next target should be this previous swing high that should be the next target this previous swing high so we expect price to keep pushing to list that previous swing high uh, by tomorrow and you are not expected to click on your buy button here uh, we have taken the risk reward ratio into consideration before going to the american dollar against uh, the swiss franc okay because if you place your buy stop order somewhere in the area your stop loss here uh, that level of resistance is just too close there is not enough room so we really do not want to take that now in the uh, daily time frame we had uh, analyzed this before even though i still have my uh, little trade running right here uh, this was the area that we are looking for that bounce and effectively you can see price, uh, price bouncing to the upside uh, that bounce should continue till tomorrow okay it is looking absolutely bullish right now so we should expect price to keep pushing uh, to the upside the uh, euro against the american dollar is uh, absolutely bullish the next target in the daily time frame is uh, this high right here for me in the monthly time frame this is my target i have i have shown you this before that's my target right there around that area i'm expecting price to push all the way to that area that's um the uh, 1.2651 area around that point that's where i'm expecting price to work drive towards so let's uh, see what's going to happen uh, that trade is sitting at a risk free uh, position so there is no uh, need to fear about that okay so that is it that's the that, that's the little uh, uh, review I just wanted to do just to show you so um, I don't waste your time if you have uh, questions or contributions as usual uh, please uh, ask them in the live uh, trading room or in the telegram group and we will respond uh, to them all together uh, right now this is what this is the way we are going to be doing it just to simply uh, pick cherry pick those pairs of interest and analyze them instead of going through uh, all 29 pairs that have nothing to offer okay all right thanks for watching for your information we have now shut down the doors for subscription okay nobody should pay uh, for uh, this service anymore until next year january when we are coming back in full force by january next year uh, there will be a lot of changes there will be a lot of discipline in terms of our trading and we expect to see better results okay all right thanks i talk to you uh, hopefully before the, the london market opens for tomorrow bye bye